Hello everyone! Today on the second channel, we are going to be covering a scandal. That's right, the Kyle Sheely scandal. Okay, I'm gonna skip the labor and get right to the baby here. We did it. In one week, we took this from a crazy idea to a real thing, butt wipes and playing cards. I messed up and I'm sorry. If you haven't seen, this was sort of a big thing on TikTok that for some reason nobody on YouTube is talking about, except for me. I'm the only one who's got the balls to cover this story. And I'm gonna do it on the second channel, not because I'm scared or because I don't have the balls to put it on the main channel. It's just, I don't really think it's a long enough story to go on the main channel. I didn't feel like writing a whole video about this. So I'm doing this off the cuff, off the cuff commentary video. Let's go. If you don't know who Kyle Sheely is, that is perfectly acceptable because I didn't know who he was either until this whole thing went down. Oh, by the way, I have a I have a different brand of sparkling water today, and that's because I feel like LaCroix was getting too much free promotion, so I'm switching it up today, and I'm gonna have a Topo Chico, and it's just plain sparkling water. LaCroix, if you want me to keep drinking LaCroix, you're gonna have to sponsor me, otherwise I'm gonna switch it up every now and again, and that is gonna be how it is. So this is Kyle Sheely. He's got three million followers. I think most of those came recently because of this scandal, but I'm not exactly sure. His bio doesn't have too much information about him except this link, kylesheely.com. Let's see what he's got here. Hi, I'm Kyle. I'm an artist, author, inventor, speaker, welder, animator, storyteller, and professional internet goofball. Sounds like Kyle does everything except tell the truth. Yeah, that's right, I'm already mad about this. I'm just so pissed off already. You guys don't even know what I'm mad about yet if you don't know what the story is. Looks like Kyle does everything except tell the goddamn truth. Also, professional internet goofball. That kind of sounds like how I would describe myself on the second channel, but in more of an ironic way, I feel like. Doesn't seem like he's using it ironically here. Let me click on professional internet goofball. What does that mean? <laughs> Oh, it just goes to his TikTok page. You know what would be really goofy is if it just cut to a video of him like, <laughs> We're getting a little too off the rails here on this unscripted commentary video. Let's watch the TikTok that started it all and got him into the hot water that he is in today. Guys, I may have gone too far this time. That's right, Kyle, you did. You did go too far this time, but not for the reason that you think. Maybe it is for the reason that he thinks. Maybe he is admitting guilt right away right here. I don't think so. So the other day I was in a convenience store and they had a cardboard cutout of Post Malone and I asked the guy working, hey, can I have that when you guys are done with it? And he was like, man, I don't even know where that stuff comes from. It just shows up, vendors bring it and then it just disappears one day. And I was like, wait, you don't even know when it's coming or going? And he was like, no man, corporate handles all that. So as soon as he said that, I immediately knew, okay, I'm gonna make a cardboard cutout of myself and I'm gonna put it inside a gas station. Okay, so long story short, basically what this guy is saying is he thought it would be funny to make a cardboard cutout of himself and put it in a gas station, advertising some like fake meal. He's gonna put it in a come and go, which is the funniest name for a gas station. You don't need to get gas here. Just come and then leave, all right? He just thought it would be like a funny prank to do. That's what he's saying in this video. He's gonna sort of prank come and go. Personally, I think the funniest prank to do at a come and go would be to come and then stay. That would really stick it to him, I think. But so I'll skip ahead here because he's just ta he's just saying stuff. And he's photoshopping this picture of himself. He's making the cardboard cutout like an advertisement for this fake meal, a Kyle Sheely meal, because his name is Kyle Sheely. He goes to a printing place and he prints out this big ass poster. The whole time he's kind of, he's, he's all excited and he's coy because he's like, I'm doing something really mischievous. Side note, this is what you're signing up for when you become my friend. I am going to rope you in on my dumb project. Okay, I don't know if I should give away what the big twist is. I feel like it's already gonna be obvious. If, if there's scandal involved, you guys probably already know what the, what the scandal is. And a lot of you have probably already seen this. Anyway, so I'm just gonna say it, okay? This whole thing was an operation executed and planned by Kyle Sheely in conjunction with Come and Go. So Kyle and Come and Go, all three of them, planned this like marketing thing from the very beginning. So they're paying Kyle to do this. This was not uh, disclosed to be an advertisement. On this TikTok, there's no hashtag ad. He doesn't even tag Come and Go. He doesn't tag Come or Go. So the big scandal is that people found out and then everybody got pissed off at him. What started as a fun little prank, or I don't, I don't even know what I would call this, a prank, a social experiment to see if he could just like put this cardboard cut out in a come and go ended in Kyle Sheely being sort of um, lambasted online and everybody kind of hates him now and not everybody I, some people probably don't give a shit but I hate him <laughs> I really trusted you Kyle and now I pretty much hate your guts not actually but I do think it was kind of a shitty thing for him and come and go to do okay I'm in the car I have scoped out a location there's a brand new gas station right next to my house it's come and go and I'm gonna uh, wear a hat and uh, a mask 
So at least it's not like immediately obvious that I'm the same person <laughs> in the picture. Guys, I am like so nervous right now. I feel like I'm about to do a heist. <laughs> I'm so nervous right now. What if I get caught? What if I walk in there and the come and go employee is like, hey, you're the guy on the poster. That's right. Corporate come and go told me that you would be coming in because this you planned the whole thing with them. Go ahead. It's nice to meet you. But I'm not taking something. I'm leaving something. So it's like a reverse heist. Oh my gosh, it's packed. <laughs> okay, it is like absolutely packed, like every parking spot is taken. I, I haven't actually watched this TikTok, the original, back since I found out that this whole thing was fake. And it's just like, I feel like I'm getting like secondhand embarrassment or something from this. Because he's just the, like, just the way he's trying to act like he's doing something sneaky when he's not. And this is like a corporate marketing campaign. Honestly, it's even making me cringe a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I got the cringy burps. But here's me carrying in the cutout. Okay, that was surprisingly easy. I walked in, that guy held the door for me, and then uh, I just opened the whole thing. Literally nobody said anything. And then at the end, I like looked at the cashier. I was like, hey, I'm just gonna put this here. And she goes, okay, thanks. He walks into the store, it's there, he put it up. And this is where things really started to get funky for Kyle. You know, I guess even though this was like a planned thing. There was really no guarantee that it would go viral like it did. It did get 4.9 million likes and 29 million views, which is still, I mean, it's like pretty impressive for a marketing campaign. But also like, well, it is kind of weird. Could they make it go viral somehow? I don't know. It is kind of weird that they were banking on this going viral. Basically what happens next is, do I want to spoil it? Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, well, let's just watch the next TikTok and then you'll see what happens, okay? At least not gonna press charges. And they didn't take down the cutout. What did he say there? They're not gonna press charges? And they commented back. They were like, we won't tell if you won't, which is like, that's fun, right? Like, seems like they're cool with it. They're at least not gonna press charges. They're not gonna press charges? Yeah, dude, of course not. You just, you put a cardboard sign in their store. You think they're gonna persecute you to the full full extent of the law? Yeah, dude, I was really worried because come and go, they are fierce arbiters of the law. They will lock you up for the slightest step out of line. If you come and you don't go right away, you're looking at 12 years max in state penitentiary. Say goodbye to your kids because you're not seeing them until they're in college. People are eating this shit up. They're loving it. They're like, oh, this is so funny. I got to go find this come and go. I got to take a picture with the Kyle Sheely meal. It's blowing up. It's going viral. Eventually come and go responds. And according to Kyle, he gets on a call with them and they make something pretty exciting happen. Okay. I'm going to skip the labor and get right to the baby here. So I don't know if I've ever heard that expression before. I'm going to skip the labor and get right to the baby. I'm going to give myself a c-section right now and just rip the information out of me and give it to you real quick i'm not gonna start this video with like nine hours of me screaming and pushing i'm just gonna tell you what's going on okay i put up a cardboard cutout of myself inside this come and go just to see how long it would we take know what happened already you this is not skipping the labor I realize it tell wasn't me. supposed to be there. in that video i said come and go listen i'm pretty flexible on what this meal could be if you want to do it we could do pizza we could do a sandwich what do you think and they responded how about a pizza sandwich and i was like that's so crazy it just might work okay so now he's like coordinating with come and go because come and go sounds like sound like they actually want to make this meal happen and they're saying let's make it a pizza sandwich also this is the first tiktok of the series that has a hashtag ad on it so now he's saying look guys i actually am working with come and go now so that's what it muddies the waters a little bit as to what is an acceptable disclosure of advertisement because he wasn't from the beginning but eventually he did disclose it was an ad of course there's some sponsor going on now because they're actually making the meal so yeah no shit we would have liked to see that before when you were giggling about putting a sign in their shop and and worried that you were going to get locked in jail uno commented dude wipes commented the one thing all those brands have in common is that they don't really help me get any closer to having an actual like edible meal like i can't make an influencer meal out of butt wipes and playing cards so now that i think about it if there's one person who would try something like that there's one person who would try something like that it's an internet goofball like me yeah i'm probably goofy enough to make that work it was like is it really a meal without wings and i was like okay red bull a meal does need a drink let's talk but before i could say anything come and go jumped in and responded that feels like a kyle Sheely question and that was the moment i was like oh my gosh this is happening the mealy will consist of a 12 ounce red bull and a pizza sandwich which is just two pieces of pizza 
smash face to face. All of that for five bucks, but here's the cool part. Between now and Thanksgiving, Come and Go is donating $2 from every Kyle Sheely Mealy sold up to a total of $10,000 to No Kid Hungry, which is an amazing charity that is helping to end childhood hunger in America. Here's where I personally started to think that something was fishy. Okay, so it's 11.19 in this TikTok. Okay, here's the and the first one was 11.15, okay? So four days have gone by. And in this TikTok, he's saying, okay, we've got it all figured out. From now until Thanksgiving, you can go and get this meal. So somehow, it w in the span of four days, really in the span of like two days, because that's when he and Come and Go started like talking, according to him, they developed an influencer meal for Kyle Sheely and like, uh, and trained all of Come and Go staff and like made sure they had enough shit to go around, enough butt wipes and playing cards. They negotiated a deal with Red Bull. They're donating money to No Kid Hungry, which is, I, I mean, great. You know, that's great. But, but I started thinking it was fishy when I saw this TikTok because I was like, wait, how the fuck did you do this in two days? That seems a little suspicious to me. So this is when I started putting on my detective hat. And by that, I mean, this is when I told Laura, I was like, I saw a TikTok today and I think that there's something fishy going on. And that's pretty much the extent of my internet sleuthing and the extent of, that's pretty much the extent of what I did. Uh, until now. If you ask me, that is pretty cool. The Kyle Sheely Mealy is gonna be providing real meals to hungry kids all over this country. Come and Go did tell me that it normally takes them more than like 24 hours to roll out something like this company-wide, but they are working really hard. Their team's working around the clock to- Yeah, see, this is, <laughs> this is so weird. Usually it would take them way longer to do this. Like if they were doing like a BTS meal or something like that, it would take them so much longer. But for me, Kyle Sheely, they're working around the clock to get this thing figured out. They are putting their noses to the grindstone for a high profile celebrity like Kyle Sheely to get my pizza sandwich out there. Let me look at the comments and see what people are thinking at this point. Bro accidentally got sponsored. Teamwork makes the dream work, y'all. We love to see it. Okay, so it doesn't seem like anyone is that suspicious. Although this person is like, as someone that works in corporate, this is the fastest I've seen any corporate level decision made. This person said, but it was all staged. He commented this after it was revealed that it was all staged, but someone under it said, what was staged? And then someone said, this. This was all staged. It doesn't seem like any comments from before are at all suspicious, which is gonna make this a real hard pill to swallow when everything comes out. Let's see what the next TikTok is. This thing rolled out. You guys are nuts. On I don't like the way he starts any of these TikToks. You guys are all fucking crazy. I'm gonna have a baby on camera and tell you guys what's going down. They all seem like kind of like a stereotypical YouTuber intros. You guys aren't gonna believe what I just did at a coming Go. I'm happy to announce that there is now a Sheely Mealy merch drop. Let's check it out. Since the cutout sort of looks like a bad album cover, I thought it'd be funny to do a tour shirt. So this one says the Kyle Sheely Mealy, and then it has that endorsement from Gas Station Food Week. Okay, so they're selling merch. They're get they're everybody's still loving the meal. Homeboy forgot about the main mission and started completing side quests. All these comments are from people like afterwards being like, wow, I can't believe you lied to us, Kyle. Don't believe him. This is all staged by big corporations. Read the news. Yeah, everyone is so sad that this was staged. I was so on board with this when I thought it was genuine. Unfortunately, it was all planned and that is a huge bummer. Basically then what happened after that, some article came out saying the whole thing was fake. So this is his apology and he starts it off by saying, I'll cut to the chase. I messed up and I'm sorry. I messed up and I'm sorry. Recent and he seems really sorry. You can tell by the way he says, I messed up and I'm sorry. Okay. Kind of has the same vibe as that TikTok of the girl being like, my life fucking sucks. Ad Week posted an article about the Kyle Sheely Millie in which they said that Come and Go was in on it from the beginning. And some people are understandably mad about that. The thing is, the way some people are reading that article is that Come and Go planned an elaborate corporate marketing stunt and they just hired me to- Okay, I'm curious to see the article. I want to know what this article is, dude. Kyle Sheely Mealy. Kyle Sheely Meal. Kyle Sheely Meal. And he said it was an Ad Week article, so it's probably this one. Have you heard of Come and Go's Kyle Sheely Meal? A look inside the stunt that swept TikTok. Okay. Doesn't say anything in the title about it being planned. The brand gives Adweek the scoop on the campaign that fooled America for a good cause. Oh my God, there's so many ads on this website. I guess that's why it's called Adweek. What many didn't know, however, is that the entire concept was actually a campaign orchestrated by Come and Go and Sheely to promote the brand's own version of a purpose-driven celebrity meal. So I wonder where they got this information from. So they posted this article on the date, November 19th which is, let's see, the same day that he posted the labor baby TikTok saying we did it. We 
We did it. A few days ago, I put up a cardboard cutout of myself. Okay, and- so the same day that he announced that the Kyle Sheely meal was really happening is the same day this article came out. Okay, this article has a section called Finding the Right Guy, I guess where they talk about how they found Kyle. It started with a desire to get in on the celebrity meal trend, where a gas station from Des Moines come and goes director of brand marketing said. So we didn't have BTS, Nelly, or J Balvin money. We don't have enough money to hire one of the most famous pop groups in the world. So what we did instead, we came up with this clever solution to that. And this clever solution was sort of just to lie. So that was sort of our solution to that. We just want, basically just lied. We thought that'd work out pretty well. So it says that Come and Go gravitated towards Kyle Sheely, not for his nearly 3 million followers, but for his compatible sense of humor. His brand of humor is just super engaging. He's not bound by constraints and we sort of feel the same way at come and go. I guess that's why they picked him. He's got sort of a come and go style sense of humor. He's really got a gas station-esque brand of comedy and that's what drew them to Kyle in the first place. Making TikTok work. So maybe they have some insight as to how they got this to go viral. There weren't PowerPoint decks that had every line pre-written, he explained. We were just gonna test the waters and see. We didn't know if it would get a thousand views or 10,000 views. Okay, so they're saying they literally did not know if it was gonna go viral. When the first video blew up, we were like, this is super exciting stuff. And then we kind of just, we just kind of went from there. Yeah, it makes sense that they would react that way. Wow, this is exciting. And then let's go from here. So they, they, they came and then they go from there. All right, well, there you go. That's interesting. So that's how it all came out, apparently. So Adweek posted that article. Uh, that's how it all came out. And then Kyle Sheely posted his apology. I messed up and I'm sorry. Recently, Adweek posted an article about the Kyle Sheely Millie in which they said that Come and Go was in on it from the beginning. And some people are understandably mad about that. Earlier this year, through a random Twitter message, I ended up on a call with Come and Go. So he said through a <laughs> random DM, I got on a marketing call with Come and Go. Did he send that DM or did Come and Go just randomly DM him? And we're like, hey, we don't know who you are. You want to make an ad for us? I'm assuming that Kyle sent them a DM and was like, hey, you're my favorite gas station. Let me do a marketing campaign with you or something like that. It seems like something an internet goofball like him would do. So I guess that's how they came to be. If I had my own influencer meal, I thought that was funny because one, I'm not famous. And two, the idea of a gas station having an influencer meal at all is funny to me. Yeah, but what didn't happen is what some people seem to infer from the Adweek article, which was that a corporate marketing team jumped in to plan and execute the whole thing. That just didn't happen at all. Instead, they just said, go make something fun. So I did. That whole. Po- so it seems like the only thing that Kyle is trying to get across on this apology is that like come and go didn't plan it okay I did all right I came up with it don't give those fucks at come and go any credit okay yes we lied to you if there's one thing I want you to take away from this it's that it was my idea okay I planned it all those shirts weren't designed by come and go's marketing department they were drawn by a friend of mine who's a middle school art teacher okay come and go dude we get it come and go didn't help you at all we get it but they still paid you to promote something and you didn't disclose it. That's what people are mad about. They're not mad because they think that Come and Go came up with their own ad. Why would that be what people are mad about? You're apologizing, but then like not understanding why people are upset. They're upset because you didn't disclose that you were doing an ad, okay? Nobody cares who printed out the poster. Nobody cares who drew the t-shirt. I guess I can't speak for everybody, but I don't care. The only thing that I'm upset about is that you advertised something and you didn't disclose it was an ad. And I also I am a little bit mad about how you pretended that you might get arrested for putting up a cardboard sign in a gas station. They just gave me permission to run wild. And that was a ton of fun. But even though they didn't plan it or orchestrate it, they did know about it. And in retrospect, I should have just been up front and told you that. That was a mistake and I'm sorry. That said, I also want you to know that the magic of this was not from a corporation being involved. Every day, every marketing Come on, dude. The magic of this was not from a corporation involved. The magic in this was from me. It was from me. I did it all. I put the magic in it. This is a weird ass apology. Also weird that like did come and go apologize for this? Or are they just like making Kyle Sheely fend for himself? Now I'm kind of curious. Okay, hold on. Okay, I googled come and go apology Kyle Sheely. Kyle Sheely apologizes for not being honest. How TikTok stars viral come and go prank backfire. I'm sorry, come and go. Are you not responsible for this also? That's crazy. Kyle Sheely added that his prank video did not go viral because of come and go. We get it, dude. I li- I get it so hard that it was all your idea. Oh my god. Come and go didn't even apologize. They just made Kyle Sheely do it. That's actually hilarious. I wonder if the reason Kyle Sheely is trying to make it seem like 
like he did all of it was to sort of like help save face for come and go. I'm assuming that Kyle Sheely, he's he does all of these things online. He's an internet goofball. He probably doesn't want to be like barred from doing any more ads in the future. So he wants to look good in companies eyes. And so he's like really taking the bullet for this being like, look guys, other companies, if you hire me, I'll literally eat dog shit for you if things go south. I will take the bullet. If people find out your company does fucked up shit, I will take the bullet for it. I'll be like, Amazon, if you want to hire me in the future, I will take responsibility for the working conditions, even though I have nothing to do with that. I'll be like, and you know what guys, the magic of Amazon's Amazon workers peeing in a bottle didn't come from corporate, okay? It came from me because they told me to do something fun and interesting and creative. All right, let's watch the rest of this apology. ...in the world is trying to get stuff to go viral and mostly none of it works, but this did. And that wasn't because of come and go. They didn't... Oh my God. For years, I've done weird projects on the internet because I think that every person has the power to do things that make the world a more magical and interesting place. I love the idea of a world where even a weirdo like me could have his own giant cardboard cutout and a gas station influence. This is just a personal thing, but I feel like people are a little bit, some people are a little bit too into being weird. Like this guy, like really markets himself as a weirdo. He just called himself a weirdo and he's a goofball and he's always doing weird stuff on the internet. It's like, just do interesting. You can do interesting things, but why does it have to be weird? Like weird is like, I'm a weirdo on the internet. I'm kind of weird. I'm not like other creators, okay? I'm a weird guy on the internet. You don't want to come across me. I'm weird and sticky and smelly. But when I work with companies in the future, I'll do better. So that's the story. And whether you decide to see me as the good guy or the bad guy or something in between, I respect your decision and I wish you the best. <laughs> that's an aggressive way to end his apology. And I'm sorry, all right? Fucking idiots <laughs> buy my meal and come and go i do want to look at the comments on this apology video just to see how people are taking it this video has a very sorry not sorry energy yeah i would agree with that it seemed like sorry that it happened but also i'm really good at coming up with fun creative branded content just so everyone knows you sold that stunt as more genuine than this apology oh god damn dude skewer him man i couldn't agree more this apology feels like an ad yeah, but this time it wasn't an ad for come and go, it was an ad for him, so. It wasn't a marketing stunt, proceeds to explain how it's a marketing stunt. I hope it was worth your authenticity. Dude, there are some good lines in these comments, oh my god. Right? The most valuable thing creators have is their authentic selves. It's why we watch and follow to see people being real. This guy is done. I wonder if that's true. Kyle, are you done? Has he posted anything since then? A week ago. Here's how I learned it, alright? No, he hasn't posted anything since. Maybe Kyle really is done. Is this the last we've seen of Kyle Sheely? We'll just have to wait and see. But I do know from now on, if he ever tries like a stunt like that again, all the comments are gonna be like, yeah, like I'm gonna believe you. All right, anyway, well, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about Kyle Sheely's Mealy Dealy in the comments below. Also, let me know what you think about this kind of uh, off the cuff commentary video. I kind of wanted to talk about this because I thought it was funny, but I didn't really want to write a whole ass video about it. So let me know what you thought. And uh, I'm gonna probably do another Reddit video because people seem to like that. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see ya next time. Bye.